guys. So for week two bonus session, I am suggesting that you do a trash audit. So can you keep all of the trash that you create in one week? Can you keep it in a jar or in a box or in a bucket? Um, you know, try to clean and dry the trash if it's gross and yucky before you put it into your jar so it doesn't attract creatures or rodents or bugs. The challenge is to keep all the trash or keep all of the waste that would have ended up in the landfill in a jar so that we become more aware of it. So instead of throwing it away, never to be seen or heard of again, we keep it so that we kind of understand where it is that we need to make changes in our life around our plastic use, around our waste. This is a landfill that I've created in the past year. So it helps me understand where I need to make changes. String um, or cloth, so these little boob covers. <laughs> so this would end up in landfill. Clothing, string, all cloth, that all goes to landfill. So I hold on to it and try to find a second purpose for it. So this I could probably turn into a cleaning product. Other things in my trash jar, these sorts of mixed resources. I got this in a gift pack and it was a delicious product but it's lined with paper, plastic and foil. Too many resources, this won't get recycled so it would end up in landfill. So I hold on to it just as a reminder to not be tempted by fancy marketing. Avoid buying products packaged like that. We just are trying to look at the waste that we're creating and think about how we can reduce that waste. So fortunately for this product, um, I can buy that in bulk. Um, clothing, I try to buy vintage or buy local designers. So these were both op shops, so second hand. Um, so that's a really great way to avoid tags on clothing. Also, I try to buy clothing from local designers. So um, I'm fortunate to live in a really creative community where some beautiful young girls make gorgeous clothing. So I try to support them, then I don't have to worry about the packaging it comes shipped in, um, and it's all natural, beautiful, organic fibers. So I avoid ending up with synthetic tags, like a lot of other clothing you purchase. I also encourage you to start separating your recycling. So look up your local recycling rules, what your local council accepts, and really put in some effort to start following the recycling rules. We'll go more into that in weeks to come, but I just wanted to make that suggestion now just to start building that awareness. As you're going through this, you know, think about, is there another use for this? You know, can I use this for a cleaning product? Can this be re repurposed? Can it be recycled? Have I overlooked a recycling rule? So that's what the trash audit really is here to support us in, is just having a visual, being more connected to our waste instead of just throwing it away. Two other suggestions that I'm going to make for you this week. If you want to create a plastic swear jar, if you are doing this challenge with your family or your friends, uh, perhaps get a jar and if you see each other using plastic, they have to put a dollar in the jar. You can create your own rules for this, but that's kind of a fun way to keep each other accountable. At the end of the week or at the end of the month, you've got a nice little jar. Maybe you go stock up on bulk foods or go out for dinner, celebrate somehow and reward yourselves for all the sacrifices you've made during this challenge. I also want to welcome you to have a plastic cheat day. This is a very hardcore challenge trying to go plastic free and it's not going to happen overnight. So please be gentle with yourself, be compassionate. If there's some sort of plastic packaged food item that you just don't know how you're going to survive life without, like tempeh or halloumi or something, allow yourself a cheat day. Um, this is a huge transition, transitioning away from plastic. Everything's packaged in plastic. We're trying our best to make our own and to get around it. But I want to encourage you to be realistic and make sustainable changes. Sustainable changes are ones that are not just one time. You're not just going to give up plastic for this week or this month, but we want to create lasting habits and lasting plastic-free routine and really doable changes. So if tempeh is your one plastic cheat, allow yourself. I hope this helps and you feel supported in this course and inspired to make some changes. Have a great week. Mwah.